Hi, I am Dr. Sotrabhata Maiti. Today, I am going to teach Introduction of Thermodynamics uh, Part 2. So, and I will cover Reversal Process, Irreversal Process, PV curve, State Function, Path Function, Extensive Property and Intensive Property. So, let, so let's start with Reversal Process. A process will termed as reversible provided it follows the following condition. Process must occur in infinitesimally small state. Again I am saying first condition is process must occur in infinitesimally small state. Second one is all the three equilibria mainly thermal, thermal equilibria, uh, mechanical equilibria, and chemical equilibria are to be maintained simultaneously so th three equilibria are thermal mechanical and chemical these three equilibria are to be maintained simultaneously so and and the third condition is uh, if the driving force for the process is allowed to act in the reverse direction if the driving force for the process is allowed to act in the reverse direction uh, and and it is increased by an infinitesimally small extent then process will follow reverse path then process will follow reverse path in a identical uh, manner so forward and reverse direction path is identical clear but I here I am emphasizing on the step size that is infinitesimally small. So why? Why is uh, infinitesimally small steps is required for reversal process? Okay. For this, uh, we need to consider an ideal gas. We need to consider an ideal gas is undergoing isothermal process of expansion or compression isothermal process of expansion and or and compression we know ideal gas follows Boyle's law uh, it uh, uh, equation of Boyle's law is uh, PV equal to K where P is pressure V is volume so it for it is a uh, the uh, car plot curve is rectangular hyperbola uh, but we we should not consider uh, that the curve in third coordinate why because in the third quadrant, uh, quadrant uh, P and V is V are negative, so negative volume is and uh, invalid idea. So and here work done is area under the curve. Now uh, we are going to uh, carry out this process uh, into into three interval like P1, V1 to P2, V2. P2 V2 to P3 V3 and P3 V3 to P4 V4. So work done we know work done is P final in, in uh, into delta V. So here in the first interval final pressure is P, P2. So P2 e, uh, times V2 minus V1. So rectangle the area is uh, area of this rectangle. In the, in the second one second uh, interval uh, work done is P3 into V3 minus V2 in the third uh, in the uh, third case uh, pressure equal p4 into v4 minus v3 so total work done is the sum of three uh, it is, uh, total work done is uh, sum of three uh, three rectangle area of three rectangle but we are not getting the um, area in lay like, what in the green zone in in this uh, reversal process of expansion now let's see what happens in compression in compression similarly we are going to uh, carry out uh, compression process into three interval like p1 v p1 v1 to p2 v2 p2 v2 to p3 v3 and p3 v3 to p4 p4 v4 the first case work done will be p2 into v2 minus v1 in the second interval work done will be p3 into v, uh, v2 minus v3 in the third one work done will be p4 into v4 minus v3 here uh, we are getting some extra work done 
so in case of expansion and compression we are not getting the exact uh, pv uh, work, work done i mean area pv area under the pv curve but if we consider uh, inf infinitesimally small step that means uh, if if delta v tends to zero then what uh, then then let's see what happens so now like p we, we now we are getting very size uh, step size is very small so uh, infinite number of v and infinite number of pressure pressure interval and volume interval in that case we are getting very small uh, rectangular strip now see the now it becomes total work done will be uh, sum of area of infinite number of rectangle rectangular infinite number of rectangular area of rectang rectangular shape rectangular strip so here to, uh, work done will be similarly just just similar of area under the pv curve so sum of i equal to 1 to n equal to n, n, n means here n is infinities so small area of small strips equal to area under the pv curve so that is why we need uh, for it for reversal process of expansion and compression we need steps uh, we, we should have uh, inference only small step size clear so <coughs> next irreversible process if any one of the condition of reversible are not maintained then it is irreversible process this is very simple now state function so a function will be termed as state function provided it follows following condition first one is it depends on initial and final step step uh, initial and final step of the system and not at all the path followed that is very important not at all the path followed next one is cyclic integral of the differential form of a state function means u2 cyclic integral of differential form of state function will be equal to zero so example a example is internal energy uh, enthalpy uh, entropy gives free energy okay so we know uh, cyclic cyc differential form of s is ds so here ds equal to zero du equal to zero for cyclic in integral and now path function it depends uh, on the path followed for a, a change to bring about so it doesn't it doesn't depend on the initial and final change of the system so now we, we, we know uh, we can prove state function and path function uh, which one will be state function which one will be path function by a mathematical uh, equation so Path example of path function is q and w is very sim simple example so heat and work clear and we can the mathematical form that is uh, Euler theorem of reciprocity by which we can prove which one will be path function which one will be state function next one is intensive property So to, to describe a system, uh, some state parameters are required. So among the state parameters, those are pressure, volume, and temperature, which do not undergo, which do not undergo any alteration on its initial value with respect to the uh, initially taken system. With respect to initially taken system. Uh, to the individual part when the system gets subdivided are known as intensive variables or intensive property so this is uh, gas jar with piston so now we are going to subdivide uh, uh, into three in, into four compartment in each compartment pressure pressure will be same and the we, i am uh, subdiv i am i am going to subdivide by an imaginary wall so in each compartment pressure will be same p in each compartment uh, temperature will be also same but in but the volume 
can be different so volume will be like v1 uh, v2 v3 v4 so here it is clear that pressure and temperature is temperatures are intensive property because uh, it doesn't change when system gets subdivided uh, other examples of intensive properties are density uh, boiling point melting point uh, refractive index because refractive index and melting point boiling, boiling point will not change with their size clear next one is extensive property extensive properties uh, extensive property Extens extensive properties are those which undergo alteration in their values with respect to initially taken system and individual part when the system get subdivided when the system gets subdivided now <coughs> extensive properties um, are extensive examples of ext extensive properties are mass volume uh, length and these extensive properties are additive in nature whereas intensive properties are non-additive property you can't sum temperature here so if you 